One of the events that I'm really excited about for Science Week this year is Glow Girl and Sci Babe in Hobart. And I was so excited about it that I offered to host the event. Pseudoscience is essentially when somebody uses the language of science without any of our rigor. So it's all of the miracle cures and energy sources that are never going to run out. I mean, it's all of these kinds of things. It's the things that people claim that sound extraordinary um, and often almost always have no evidence to back them. You know, this is, there is just no science behind this. It's just, it's not. People who are trying to sell pseudoscience um, are always out there looking for people who are vulnerable and people who are desperate to sell their products to. And I think people need to know uh, how to look for something that's reputable and how to look for something uh, that's got evidence behind it because it's very easy to, uh, to tr end up trusting your health to something that's bad science. How do you tell the difference between what's real science versus what's pretend science? You know, by coming to National Science Week, by interacting with scientists, you can learn these kinds of things. Science is more than just what happens in a textbook. Science is, science is the heating system in your, in, in your bedroom. Science is your iPhone. Science is making life. Science is the medicine that saves your life. So science is a lot more than, you know, just a textbook. Science is constantly making life easier and better for you. You guys have a National Science Week. In New Zealand, we don't. I've had to come all the way here to come and do some amazing events um, and meet the public and uh, talk about my research and talk about the great things that science is doing for people. It's a great, exciting time of year. It's the chance for Australians to celebrate science, to meet actual scientists, to do science, to play around with experiments, to see labs that are normally inaccessible, and to talk about the hot topics and to, to talk about how science contributes to culture, the economy, and broader society. We want everyone to be part of National Science Week because it's as much a cultural festival as it is a science festival. Have incredible science and reliable information talked about in the media and in the blogosphere is really important. You know, in comics, in children's books, it's always the man crazy scientist who's trying to kill everybody. And it's like, actually, most of us are not trying to kill everybody. We're just, you know, getting on with trying to understand how stuff works and discover things because we're kind of excited and we want to know how nature works. Science needs money, it needs government funding, so it needs taxpayers to understand why their money is used and to support that. Um, and I think it really needs people to understand that you know, we don't know where the benefits of science are going to go in, in 50 years time, in 10 years time. Um, and that by, by letting scientists follow their passions, who knows the kinds of things they're going to discover. <laughs>